Hello, and welcome to yet another episode of the Monday Movie Show, where I take the past week to watch one new movie, anime, or TV show, and I basically just talk about it on the up and coming Monday, and all I really do is I give the, the new piece of media a rating, look at its entertainment value, basically what I rate it as, and then I also go into like a favorite aspect or some part of the film that I like, and uh, yeah, so let's get into it. And the one that I watched this week is called The Phone Booth, or this Phone Booth. Alrighty, so let's jump into the entertainment value, and I want to give this one an 8 out of 10. It's, uh, it's pretty, pretty solid, like, I, I watched this movie earlier in the year, and, like, I never watched it before, but I, I wanted to watch it again. I don't know why, it just, uh, my brain's like, yo, what was that movie that I watched for? It was just a dang old phone booth, and, uh... Yeah, that's what this movie's basically about. It's just centered around this phone booth and the guy in there and, you know, his life and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, it was actually a lot interesting than I thought it would be when, like, I was just scrolling through YouTube and I found it. And it was like, okay, I'm, I'm interested. And uh, it turned out to be pretty interesting. And I definitely watched it again. So that's why it's a pretty decent rating, 8 out of 10. But, uh, I don't know, I, I, I do enjoy it, but... It's just one of those things where it's like, if you watch it once, you're like, okay, well, I, I know where, how everything turns out, so it's whatever. Yeah, it's pretty good, and I want to jump into some favorite parts of it, so let's get into the favorite aspect. Alrighty, so the favorite aspect, it's pretty dang simple. I really like how it's just centered around this one little spot, you know, just this phone booth, and like, you know, you got the main character, and then you got dang old sniper boy watching over him basically stalking him basically seeing the things he's done in his life and knowing the things he's done in his life it's just neat how they're able to make some interesting story from just this dang old phone booth and you know the character that's in the phone booth so i i definitely found it interesting on that aspect and then also just the way they filmed it he would be on the phone and then he would you would see like an image of what the other person's doing and i really like the way they were blending like whenever he was talking to somebody and like something was going on the way they were all interacting with each other it's pretty smooth and it's always hard to get dialogue just right but it felt like they they did really good with the dialogue so yeah, that that's the the main thing that like i really liked about this film is just where it was filmed like it's crazy when like directors or a story or you know storyboarding or whatever you want to call it it's really interesting how like they're able to take uh characters and whatnot and just make them work in one scene or one area just like uh what's it called hateful eight how they were able to get everybody to work in that haberdashery or how haberdashery i don't know how to say it but anyway pit stop it was neat how they were able to film like all those characters in one little area it's like it's neat how they're able to basically get all these characters to work in this small uh street or this small area where this phone booth is so it's really it's really interesting. I always liked seeing how they pull that off. Another thing that I really liked is just the uh, the characters and like the the struggles and also the the bad dude, the dude doing what he's doing. I I don't know if uh, the bad guy's interesting. The film always like you know it, it gets me hooked. Basically, yeah, the bad guy's interesting in some aspect where like their morals are you know the way they do their morals is kind of sketchy, but like it's understandable at the same time. Like, I'm, I'm always going to be interested in the bad guy. So, like, you know, Thanos, for instance, he kills half the universe because he wants, you know, people not to fight against each other for resources. But, uh, and then you got other bad guys that, you know, their morals are kind of yikes. I mean, their morals are understandable, but their the way of getting to those morals is kind of a uh, yikes. So, like, in this film, the bad guy, um, his morals are like, you know, you shouldn't uh, do bad things and whatnot. And if you do, I'm going to basically... Uh, come after you and uh the guy in the phone booth is definitely doing some uh, sketchy stuff and you know he's not uh, not, not the greatest person in the world so that's why he becomes one of his targets and uh yeah i always find it interesting when the the bad guy has motives to you know being bad rather than just oh i'm bad because i'm bad you know so <laughs> i'm always interested in that aspect of it but you know it's uh it's a make or break you know sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad and this one it's it's pretty decent so but that'll be it for this video um nothing crazy this week just dang i'm talking about a film that i i watched that was new to me and i just never really got around to talking about it so yeah that is pretty much it if you got any suggestions drop them in the dang old comments i just chuck them on my spreadsheet and i pick a random one and i just watch it 
we'll just you know see how it goes and i just talk about you know what i did today so yeah we'll see what next next week monday movie show is so that'll be it i will see you guys in the next video or the next monday movie show bye 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 now